Hey everybody, it's Boys Gaming I'm here to bring you part 5 of our Let's Play of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last part, we followed Dimitri around, we got a mysterious email, we intercepted a mysterious email from Dimitri, and so we followed him around to see where he was heading. Once we found out where he was heading, we sent Murray in there to bust the place up, forcing them to switch their backup water system or something, I don't even know. Bentley said it was all part of the plan. And now we've got a few more missions that we got to do uh, in order to set up the main heist. We're going to go after the clockwork tail feathers. Oh, no one already. Oh, let's go ahead and get up. Get up. Le Stinky Cheese. That was literally the name of that restaurant. I don't know. It sounded pretty cool to me. But yeah, we've got a few more missions that we got to take care of before we can do the final heist. Uh,. Always, always, always you want to do the missions of the people that you don't like the most first. And I love Murray, but he's not as fun to play as Sly. I mean, it, it goes Bentley. You always do Bentley first, then Murray, then Sly. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our heist. There are three of them out here, and I need you to take them out. Check. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evildoers feel my wrath. All right, so you hear Bradley. We gotta destroy this alarm clock. But as soon as you start destroying the alarm clock, it's gonna start sounding off, which means that you're gonna have guards on you. See, there's one, two, two of the rat guards just come out of no. Well, they were over there, but I know there's another guard that comes out of like Chevalvacagene or something, whatever the name of that restaurant was. I'm not, I'm not a French major. I don't, I don't think I've ever taken any French classes ever. I don't know. I, I literally know no French, so when I screw up every single name, every single one of these restaurant names, you'll, that's why. Just, just letting you know right now. Alright, so we gotta destroy two more alarms, and it looks like the other, there's another one over here. Let's see, anything to get? Nope. Nothing interesting to get along the way. Um, there's the second alarm, as you can see right there. Let's see. There's, there, there's not a lot of stuff to throw. Well, we do have the newspapers. That's what I love about this game, the logic. Let's throw a newspaper at a giant alarm box that is supposed to be very hard to break. And then once we get the alarm box completely destroyed, let's go, I'm going to show off the Fist of Flame. Uh, the Flare of Fist, or the, I believe it's called Fist of Flame. Uh, whenever you hit somebody with the Fist of Flame, they burst into flames, and it automatically takes them out in one hit. It's something I'm very thankful for for Murray sometimes, especially with the bigger enemies. You can take out a bigger enemy really easily. Uh, now the thing about these power-ups, if you can see on the uh, health bar screen, there's like a little yellow bar on the bottom that's partially depleted right now. That's like your power bar. Uh, if you run out of power for your, if you run out of a power bar, you can no longer use any more of your powers. If you need more power in your power bar, it's really easy just go get some uh, go get some health go destroy enemies and get health uh, that's how you get a power bar oh that that guy hurt us we've got we've got enemies to worry about die rat rats thinking they can take on a hippo they should have known better oh there's another one yeah we just got one more one more one more alarm to worry about any more guards that we need to do, take care of? It doesn't even matter. I just want to destroy all this crap and get some more money. We're going to have over 400 coins. Maybe maybe I can get up to 500 coins. We'll be, we'll be able to take out a couple things. I mean, we'll be able to buy a couple things on the next level, maybe. That'd be nice if two of them equaled up to 500. And it looks like we have a few rat friends that we can take care of. Oh, let's go throw an enemy at the box. Okay, now I have to run all the way over here and grab this newspaper. Yeah, sound all 
Okay, that didn't fly nearly far enough. Sound all you want, alarm. You're not going. No one, no one even pays attention where you're at. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw this enemy into a box, and that's how we defeat the mission. Job completed by Murray. Good job, buddy. All right, I think we can head back now. If we don't fall into the water. All right, anything over here? No. Let's not go in there as Murray. That's more of a job for Sly or. Well, not Bentley, but... Alright, man, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm really tired. <laughs> the great thing is, after I'm done with this, I've got an hour-long drive all the way back home to do, and... I might not make it. We'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and head all the way back to the... Uh, safe house because we gotta we gotta get sly we gotta use his special skills to do that mission right there so we've got Easter coming up and I've got I've got a special video planned for Easter which I think is clever and yet not clever at the exact same time all right let's go ahead and pull out sly but uh whether you're celebrating P Easter Passover or you're celebrating the masters I think that's a holiday in some circles. Most of them are uh, big, avid, professional golfers. I've heard people say "Happy Masters" to me. Well, that's that's a lie. That no one's ever said that. But uh, it's great because I started working at a golf course this past week, and just last yesterday, the hard time I was watching the Masters. It was awesome. Hold it, Cooper. Constable Neela. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the claw gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that. You can keep up. Literally. Literally? Don't fall behind. Fly, pull down the R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep up with Constable Neela. Alright, so this mission is very, very easy. All you have to do is basically don't lose Neela. It's... It, it may, it's, it sounds harder than it is, and you can even glitch her out and make sure she never leaves this wire if you just get, if you get in front of her and just don't leave. It's a pretty funny little glitch that I found. Um, I don't know, she's really easy to keep up with. She's definitely more athletic than Sly, because, man, she jumps a long ways. She doesn't even need her double jump to do that. Unfortunately, she also has this nasty little habit of having to make a big jump every single time she jumps on anything and she does have an awesome whip which destroys anything but once she destroys something there's no coins that come out of it none of them. no coins not like it's very very necessary for us to get a bunch of coins right now but uh it might be something and apparently she's too fat or not fat enough in order to get those uh get the uh little what are those? The overhangs. I I really need to figure out the name of those things. But the overhangs, they don't bounce her up like they bounce up Sly. It seems like they did have a character model possibly to make her uh, a playable character. Because, I mean, obviously, she's doing a pretty good job here. Oh, she's up on the wire. Get up on the wire, Sly. I think we're almost there. Should be very, very soon, and we are there. Yep. Well done, Sly. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant, but I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, <laughs> we are absolutely going to work well together. Oh, Neela, you are so awesome. I love Neela. She just she just gave us the key to Dimitri's back door. So now we can do a Bentley mission. First Bentley mission. I hate Bentley. All I'm going to say. I I I I don't know what it is, but Bentley just annoys the crap out of me. I know people say don't hate on Bentley, but I have to. 
I, it's it's just necessary. It's a necessary thing for me to do. Hey, look, a little piece of rare art that we can bring back. Let's go ahead and bring back this piece of art. I feel like bringing back a piece of art for Bentley to Bentley to sell before he goes off and gets himself killed several times because he's a terrible character. Okay, not a terrible character. I don't hate his character. I just hate everything that he is other than the character part, like his gameplay, which at times is rather frustrating, especially for me who sucks at the stealth portion of Bentley's gameplay. Because for, ben for Bentley to be effective, you have to be stealthy as crap. All right, let's go ahead and head this way instead. I don't want to run into that frog with a piece of fine jewelry on my back. Well, there's already a frog going around the other way too. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, Bentley requires a lot of stealth in order to get by. I'm not good at with Bentley and stealth. I, I, I'm a Sonic fan. I have to get around fast and Bentley is slow. Well, he's a turtle. Well, whatever. Let's go ahead and use, let's, well, yeah, first let's got, we gotta sell that piece of 205 coins. I like it. Over 700 coins now. All right, let's play as Bentley. We got a Bentley mission to take care of and I like as soon as you come out of the door, those enemies, the big enemies, just disappeared because they need to make the. F this is the first Bentley mission. They have to make it easier on you, so they only have the rooftop enemies out instead of having all the big enemies out and the rooftop enemies out. Basically, you don't have to worry about the flashlight guards. Now, Bentley's gameplay is rather interesting. I do like the concept behind it. That uh, he is more stealth based, like I said. It's not something that I'm good at, so I kind of tend not to enjoy my time as Bentley. It involves a lot of running away from people. Basically what you do is you can press the R3 button to bring up this Binocicom, and oh, there's an enemy over there. Okay, I'm not going to shoot that guy, but I'll shoot this guy instead. So you can zoom in using the, the right trigger and uh, press the R1 button to set off a sleep bomb. Once a guy is sleep bombed, you set a bomb next to him using the triangle button and that's how you take care of people. Um, like I said, it's stealth based. You gotta be very, very accurate with your uh, uh, sleep dart, which isn't that hard considering they do give you a uh, they do give you a zoom button, but uh, it, I've, I've missed a few times, and once you miss, they're coming after you, so either get off another dart quickly, or get the frick out of there. Alright, so we're up here, and oh, before we do Bentley's mission, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the part right here, because we're coming up on 15, 14 minutes, and I don't want to run this way too over time with Bentley's mission. So, thank you all very much for watching. In the next part, we will do Bentley's mission, and then hopefully we should be able to pull the highest next part too, which would be very nice. Uh, so be sure to like and favorite the part, because every like and favorite helps other people find this series. You know, leave me a comment telling me how I did, because I'm loving this series so far, so I want to know how I'm doing. And subscribe to my channel, Z-Man4491, for more Sly Cooper awesomeness. So, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see all of you guys next time.